I've been working on the calculator since yesterday, and I think it's done. My brain almost exploded to smithereens because of these formulas and equations. Today, I'll show you how to use the version 2 of our wine energy calculator. Hopefully this helps everyone plan out what to grind in this era of pixels market inflation. We won't make as much coin as before, but what we actually want is to not lose coins and still gain a lot of XP and levels. As what I've mentioned in my previous video, profit is just a bonus and the real prize is the levels. This is Art Diced from BCH Guild and welcome to my channel. Before we get into the tutorial on how to use the calculator, here's a bit of intro on the things you need to know. The same as what I've said on my previous video, the only cells you need to edit are the blue cells. Editing the other cells will result in the catastrophic destruction of the calculator. And we don't want that. On the left part of the calculator is where you will enter your desired item to craft. The current market price for that item, the ingredients and quantity, and if you don't want to craft your ingredients from scratch, I also added an option where you can enter the cost of that ingredient if you bought it on the market. On the right side of the calculator, you have the wine options, so you enter the cheapest wine in the market enter the quantity you plan to purchase, and the current market price. After doing all of this, the spreadsheet calculates everything and you will see the immediate results. The challenging part in making this calculator was the decimals I'm getting when calculating for the yield of item from the quantity of wine. And because of that, we're only getting an estimate of the claim all coins and profit. So what I did was just take out the decimals from the total yield and just compute it to leftover energy. And now we're getting more accurate numbers for the revenue and profit. Enough with the yapping, and let's test out this calculator. Last time we did a demo on the stone shaping, so right now let's check out items from the cooking industry. This might be a good industry to test since cooking right now is the most profitable because cooking items are appearing more on the task board. Now let's decide on what item we should use for this demonstration. We already decided that we'll use cooking as an example today. So let's go to pixels.tips and check out the pie items. Mukchuk pie right now looks promising. Market price is 780, XP is 240, energy cost is 23. Let's go back to the calculator and enter the current values. Let's include the ingredients. That's two mukchuk jams and one cooking mix. Actually, we also need to include the ingredients we need in crafting two jams, so we'll add four mukchuk crops. Oh wait, there's more. We also need four seeds to plant mukchucks, so let's add them as well. So here we can see the total coin cost, energy cost, and XP earned from crafting both pie and ingredients. Now we check the pixel.tips again for cheap wines we can use. Right now, Popberry Wines is really cheap, that's 801. So let's pick this one for our calculator. Now, before we check the individual columns results, let's talk about the two result options for a bit, because these two are for different scenarios. So here in the first option, the one with the green border, the calculations for this is only for the energy cost of the crafting item alone and the ingredients cost. This is for scenarios like, you don't want to include the making of the ingredients in the energy costing, that means you already have the ingredients or already acquired it to different means. The second option is the one with a yellow border. The calculations for this includes everything like energy cost of crafting ingredients from scratch. The only thing that this calculator fails to calculate is the unpredictable items like matrixes and ores from mining. You don't have to include them if you didn't buy them in the market. Anyways, we'll make another example later. Now let's check the option 2 results first, since we already entered all of the necessary ingredients to craft a pie and jam, so this means that we intend to make everything from scratch. 
and we're actually seeing negative results from the profit column, so we're actually losing coins when crafting everything from scratch. Compared to option one, wherein we're actually profiting and we can craft more pies and gaining more XP. So if we choose option one, but we don't have those materials yet, what we can do is use the free energy we're getting from the passive regeneration claimable sauna energies and spec bed. Use all those energy to stockpile ingredients, then just buy wines to craft your target item. If you don't want that option, because of course that takes too much time, there's one more option where in we can just buy the ingredients in the market. So crafting mukchuk pies require two jams and one cooking mix. So let's remove the mukchuk and seeds from our ingredients and add the current market price of jam in our calculator. We're still seeing negative results for the profit, but the range is not bad. The market selling price of mukchuk pie can still change and you can just wait and sell when it's up to gain profit or you can sell right away, lose a bit of coin and gain XP, then rinse and repeat. Now let's make another example. Let's try and craft glue. So the scenario is I've collected a lot of glue and wood from chopping trees, and now I want to craft it into wood, then sell it in the market to gain a bit of profit. But I don't have enough energy to craft glue, now wine will be a good option right now. So let's check out the calculations for glue. Well, what do you know, we're actually gonna profit from this, as long as we have a lot of glue and sawdust. So what if we consume around 99 wines? How much can we produce in profit? So let's just change the wine quantity, then enter. So we're actually going to produce this much glue, and the profit is decent enough. By the way, before I forget, on our last video, my email was almost filled by requests to access the old calculator. I hope you guys won't do it for this one. What you need to do is just click File, then click Make a Copy. You now have your own copy of the calculator located in your Google Drive. Just make sure you're signed into your Gmail before you do so. If you have more questions, clarifications regarding the calculator, please don't be shy to leave a comment down below. I think that's it for this demonstration. I hope this can help you guys in your pixels grinding. If this was useful in any way, and if you want to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe and click the bell icon. If this video gets 2000 likes before July 13, 2024, I will give out 50 pixels each to three lucky subscribers. Spam that like button and make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Just do it. Do it! Just do it! This is Art Diced from BCH Guild, and I'll see you on the next one. I'm gonna demonstrate how to withdraw your partner. Now, some of you are skeptical from BCH Guild. Stuff again with the boards. Art Diced is back. You thought that my calculations are wrong. Mejumatasa. BCH number one.